All right, so here we have the click box from uh, Jean-Claude Constantine. Um, I actually don't know very much about this other than that it's a level eight, so reasonably difficult uh, Constantine puzzle. Um, and, you know, obviously the goal is to get it open. Uh, so let's get the plastic off and see what it's like. Okay, there we are. So, um, as is usually the case with uh, Jean-Claude Constantine puzzles, it, it looks pretty nice. Um, I kind of recognize these pieces from at least one of his other puzzles. And then there's this, oh, this flower, which I guess turns at least a little bit. Um, whoops, and maybe something down there. Bits and pieces on the side. So it's a pretty, in some ways, it's quite a sort of plain um, puzzle box in terms of things that you can see that you can manipulate. Um, but it's got a very pretty pattern on the front here, although it's a bit scuffed. All right, so let's start a timer and see what it's like to solve it. So first of all, I'm just going to explore the box and see what moves or, okay, uh, shifts in some ways. Now I'm sort of noticing right from the start, there's a little bit of a wobble on this plate on the front here. So I guess that maybe is going to just come out at some point. And that one, that little flower is glued down. Like I can sort of visibly see the glue around it. Um, these other ones, it's not so obvious if they're glued down or not, but like they don't turn, at least not easily. And neither do, I think, any of these. Checking if they slide. Okay, so it so, uh, doesn't go. All right, so so far, the only thing that I've found that moves is this flower in the middle. Oh, ooh. Wow, that really clicks. Okay, so as a reminder, this is called the click box. I guess we know why now. Click. That is a really loud click. Does it go the other way? No. Hmm, I guess I have to keep track. I've done four clicks so far. That's five. Six clicks. Seven clicks. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 12, 13, uh, let's see, 14, so I'm just thinking that um, it looks as though one click moves about one lobe's worth around. And how many lobes do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 lobes. Oh, I've done 15. 14, sorry. That's 15. And that's 16. So I'm thinking this is probably close to the beginning again. I need to look a little more carefully at the rest of the puzzle. I'm just trying to look inside these just to see if there's anything visible, any holes or things to manipulate, but there's nothing obvious at any rate. No. So this didn't come with any instructions. Now often, well, normally you'll get instructions that say no external tools. So that's a pretty good uh, starting assumption, but quite often they'll say things like no need to hit it or bang it or force anything. Um, but since I don't have such instructions, I don't know whether that's true here or not. Uh, just noticing that these don't join up at the corners, which means they could slide past each other. But so far they don't move at all. Again, these flowers don't move, no. No. 
Hmm. Okay, so when I shake it, I can neither hear nor feel anything moving. I don't think there's any, you know, moving parts in there aside from whatever this is. that is very mysterious then isn't it the only thing is this it, it sort of stands out because we have these ones around the edges on each side but just one here and it's um visibly slightly uh, indented relative to these other ones so i feel like it does something but doesn't mean it's part of the solution necessarily. Okay, so what I'm going to do, the only thing I can think to do is uh, click this 16 times, which I think gets it back to the beginning, and after each click, just go around and try things. <laughs> See if it, one of those 16 states happens to be the right state to get to. So let's see. I'm pretty sure I've done 16 clicks. I had a new idea. <laughs> the only idea I can think of is that you have to turn this until it just is about to click but not clicked. <laughs> That's the only other state that I can think that you can get into, right? So you've got this state and then you've got this state, but that's, I think, the same, at least as far as I can tell. So the only different state is the one where it hasn't quite clicked. Ooh. But it's hard to get there. So I want to sort of hold it just before it's going to click. Let's see what that does. Nothing, I guess. <laughs> I mean, could this be a red herring? Wouldn't that be crazy? <laughs> The only moving part on the outside of the puzzle, surely it cannot be a red herring. It has to be a part of the solution, right? I just have no idea what it's doing. What could the idea possibly be here? Okay, so imagine you have this box and you're holding it in your hands. Is there something that I haven't done that you would do? Maybe uh, write it in the comments now and then come back and finish watching and see if I find whatever it is. This is the thing with this puzzle, I, I just don't have much sense of what the possible actions are. Um, the, the end step surely has to be lifting this plate off, I think. It doesn't look as though you're going to get in any other way. Well, I suppose it's possible this could come off, but it doesn't seem that likely to me. I guess there are different orientations. I've, I've only really clicked it this way up, so I should try the other five orientations, right? So I'll try it like this.
Okay, there's one other thing I haven't tried, which is turning it really quickly. <laughs> I mean, is it possible you just have to turn it, you know, hundreds of times? <laughs> Eventually it opens, is that going to be the answer? That would be a pretty annoying puzzle, honestly, <laughs> if it was the answer that you just had to turn this thing forever. I can't think anything like spinning is going to help because you'd hear moving parts if there was... Ooh. ...a spin in the solution, but... Yeah, that rattle was just this plate, I think. noticeable thing here is that I don't know if you can really see this but there's um, maybe half a millimeter of give in this corner there whereas in this corner there's zero give oh unless I really press hard actually okay but really very very little this corner absolutely none at all in this corner a little bit so all the action is down in this corner what to make of that there is something that happens when I push on this corner oh uh, yeah that, the whole of this end lifts up has multiple states. I think it's sort of one of those things where I'm just, you know, pushing a piece of metal past another piece of metal and then back again or something like that and, and it just clicks as it goes by and then it's back to where it started. The only state is the sort of rotation of this actual dial but I suspect the internal mechanism doesn't have that kind of state. I don't have any evidence for this, <laughs> Not, like none at all, it's just a feeling. Um, but if that's true, then like the number of times you turn this makes no difference. I wonder if I could twist it and lift it at the same time. It's actually very hard to do because there's not much um, room between the, the height of this and the height of the, the panel on the front of the box is, is like a, a millimeter. So getting a grip on it is, is not that easy. And it doesn't feel like it's going to lift up. All right, so this, yeah, I mean, this is probably not part of the solution, but as you push down on this corner, this corner lifts up, which means you can then push it, it gives a little bit of give, but just because it's been raised up by pressing on this corner. Is it possible that's <laughs> the answer is just pressing Oh look at that. Is that new? Can this possibly be part of the solution? I just I 
I mean, this feels desperate, right? In any other puzzle, I'd think, yeah, well, that's just a, you know, an imprecision in the in the mechanism. But in this puzzle, since there is nothing else to go on, I'm inclined to think that this is important. Question is what can it what can I do now that it's pressed in like that? I don't know, not much, I think it has. The only thing I think is if I can hold these two down at the same time and turn dark, I think I'd need another hand for that. Or maybe not. Let's do it like that. There we go. This is interesting. Uh, yeah, so I think, I think this is true. I think as I turn the, f the flower dial here, this, this lid lowers a little. Or, or is it just that I'm putting pressure on it? It's a bit hard to tell. Mm, no, definitely. Oh, that is interesting. Okay, so when the flower gets a certain way round, it hits something that pushes up on this. What does that mean? What could that possibly mean? Well, it means not very much. <laughs> probably just means that this is part of the solution, but I think we knew that. Does it imply anything about this? Or is this just because, you know, it's being held shut at the moment and once it's released, this will open it. down really hot in these corners so this is now lifted up just tiniest amount all right so my next guess is I'm gonna press down hard on these corners I'm gonna turn this dial I'm gonna do it all with it upside down in the hopes that getting the flower into that, that position where it's about to click whilst pressing down on these will open something. This is called uh, desperation. Oh, 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 something's changed. What just happened? This turned without clicking. What? <laughs> huh? There it is again. Is that it? <sighs> so maybe I was wrong. Maybe there is an internal state. Or is it? something else. Does it matter that it's upside down? Let's just see if I can repeat that this way up. satisfying I, I, I mean <laughs> what exactly happened are these magnets what does this do I mean looking at this there's no obvious mechanism oh oh Okay, yeah, this was, I was sort of right then, I think. There's just, 
There's the state where that is in, just before it pops out. And, and I guess what you're doing is you're lifting this up by pushing down on here and getting it at just that moment. I guess the upside down thing was just sort of gravity helping a little bit. The thing is that, yeah, these are metal. So I'm guessing these are some strong magnets that just hold it in and make it harder. All right, so it took me uh, about 30 minutes to solve. Um, I think I'm right in saying that this is kind of a one step solve. You just do one thing. It's just, it's a very complicated thing. Um, but I'm gonna just see if I can reproduce it. So it looks like this goes in this way around. Yes, yeah, so these are the two metal bits that I guess hit these magnets. These slot in there. making it very hard to see how it comes apart. But anyway, that's, oh yeah, and this and this drops into this little bit there. Okay, so let's see if I can get it back together. And then we'll try and reproduce that. Uh, that must not quite work. Okay, right, yeah. There we go, okay. So yeah, I think the secret to this is, I don't think it has to be upside down, I think that just helps, but I think the secret is. No, maybe it does have to be upside down. You've, you've really got to push really hard, or maybe it's gonna be like a bump. Maybe that's the idea. Upside down again. I mean, actually, upside down. I'm well. No, it's just the way I'm holding it. But this way, with my fingertips on the top, which is easier to do upside down, you get. A, you can really apply the pressure there. <laughs> my fingertips going white. So. There we go. And that got it open. All right. So that is uh, Jean-Claude Constantine's click box. That's really an ingenious mechanism, uh, incredibly simple in a way. Um, I think you've got some magnets just to sort of make it resist more. And you've got this, which needs to be in this position, which it only is very fleetingly, just before it pops back out. Um, and yeah, I think holding it upside down is, is probably essential, although, Maybe if you're really strong, <laughs> you have really strong fingers, you don't need to do that. Uh, so yeah, I love that. That's a great puzzle. I, I often say, I think Jean-Claude Constantine's puzzles are very variable in quality. He has some, frankly, pretty poor ones, but also some really great ones. I think this is in the pretty great uh, end of things. Um, some people won't like it because it only has the one step, but finding that one step is sufficiently difficult <laughs> to make it a really worthwhile puzzle. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed that. If you want to see uh, other um, Jean-Claude Constantine puzzle boxes, check this out here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.